Hey guys, welcome to my little off-season show. I wanted to talk about the winners of the Supercars off-season for 23 to 24. And I got a few guys here. I got Jack LeBrock at Erebus, Nick Perkat in MSR, Richie Stanaway at Groves, and the three rookies that we've got coming in next year. All of those people won. Jack LeBrock at Erebus, not necessarily Erebus getting anything better than what than what they had in Will Brown, but for Jack LeBrock, it's definitely a win. Um, this is going to be his best chance yet to win more races and get pole positions. These are things that he he's shown that he can be fast. He's shown that he can win races and get podiums. It just has to be when the team can deliver him a car that he can drive into good result. He seems to be ready now. He seems to be in his, his best ability in supercars. Um, we saw that in the first half of 2023 with MSR when they had their car really sorted. He was on for a good result. If it wasn't for that back end of the year where the team and team sort of fell downwards, sort of happened at the same time with um, after Will Brown was signed to Triple Eight. So maybe it was less team and more driver, but. We don't know. Maybe, maybe there wasn't anything like that. Like, how would that really affect you? If you once you've already, once you've so- signed it away, what happens? Do you just think about what's happening next year, or you, you, as soon as you jump in a race car and you put the helmet on, you just focused on what you're doing and you forget about everything, unless you're just distracted, which I don't think he would have been. He knew that he had his future future locked away at Erebus, so I think it was just the team sort of fell away other teams got better in that back end of the year uh probably other four teams got better like uh groves jack wasn't actually quite as bad as i might have thought in 2020 at tickford he was actually pretty exciting so going into 2021 we thought he would improve and he didn't and there were a few things that were different that year a different engineer he had sam scafidi who had worked with lee holdsworth the previous year a different car so he didn't have the same Chas Moss, that car that he had, um, and it took a while for things to gel. But I think Tickford weren't quite as good in 21 as they were in 2020. In 2022, he went to MSR, and it took a while to get good. I noticed in the in the actual result, the first half of the year, it's Todd Hazelwood Town. He's always ahead of Jack. And then they went to Darwin, and from Darwin onwards, it was Jack's side of the garage getting better results the rest of the year it was interesting maybe it just takes him a bit of time to to really switch on with a te- with a new team and a new environment a new situation then in 2023 we obviously saw the first half of the year incredible results constantly in the top 10 uh, it was hard to believe as well because we just don't think that that's going to happen you get used to the idea at the start of the year it's a little bit different and then things sort of change after the first three rounds to be the usual teams and the usual drivers will start delivering consistent performances for the rest of the year but it didn't seem to be the case for msr they just they were still pretty consistent for the rest of the year as well even at bathurst they got the top 10 and they were in top 15 for the rest of the year as well so they weren't shocking they just fell back a little bit probably because other teams did better less than their car wasn't uh, any good so i think i think jack lebrock's gonna be in the top five of the championship in 2024 i think i think that this is something that's really exciting for for the next season is to see how how he handles it and to see someone different performing really well um and we saw it this year with Brody kostecki um and will brown we'd seen them do well in the past on occasion Brody kostecki putting a full year together we saw that was something that he could do so we aren't expecting anything less in 2024. First Jack LeBrock, I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to seeing how well he does. Um, then Nick Perkett and MSR. I think that MSR won in getting Nick, getting Nick Perkett, and I think Nick Perkett won in getting MSR. Every, everybody was everybody's happy in the, in that situation. MSR know that they've got a, a great driver in Nick Perkett, and Nick knows that he's in a competitive outfit at MSR. I think it's also good that to see people, to see him continue. Nick's ended up landing on his feet at MSR. Will he be the BJR shooting from the hit Nick Perk out where he qualifies down the back and drags the car up the front? Maybe. I think he'll at least be as good as LeBrock was um, 
this year. Whether the whether Nick and the team can get the qualifying performance nailed so he's up the front, there's a lot of things that are going to be left up in the air until that first race starts and, and the whole season takes place and we get what we get. Then I've got Richie Stanaway at Groves. I think Richie wins this one. I'm not sure if Groves win in getting Richie Stanaway. Richie's got his best chance yet. Tickford wasn't the best time. Gary Rogers wasn't the best time. Groves, it's the perfect time. It's They're constantly on the upwards since 2022. They've been a competitive outfit. Even 23, they weren't the best. Like They were, they were struggling through the mid part of the season. They were getting top 15s. So they were getting decent points. And then come the back end of the year, winning races and getting podiums. Um, if they're able to do that again with Matt Payne, I think Richie is definitely able to to demonstrate his ability and he'll be competitive next to Matt Payne. Then we've got the rookies. I think for each of them, they're in a great opportunity. Ryan Wood had a dominant Super 2 season. I watched a bunch of the races this year from, from the 7 plus. Newcastle, I think they've what the first race he didn't he didn't get qualifying right. It was what Cooper Murray and Jack Perkins on the front row. Yeah, they had a red flag qualifying session. Ryan Wood started from 7th and he raced his way up the front, got a good result. So he was fast straight away. Then the second race, he tried a bit too hard and put it in the fence. Just winning heaps of races and getting pole positions. It seemed like when you were watching the races, there were two guys that you were going to be watching to see what they did or three guys. Ryan Wood, Zach Best and Kai Allen. Ryan Wood seemed to do it that much better. He just had a few things not work out and lost the championship. There's no point in doing that again because everybody knows he's good, so I put him in the main game. Like Timing worked out well for him where he was able to just jump straight into the main game at Walkinshaw and now he gets a chance at being Chas Mossett's teammate. However that goes, at least, he's had it, at least he gets a chance. The same sort of thing for Aaron Love. Aaron Love pretty much proved that he's fast and can win races has caught up in other people's incidents opportunity was ripe and brt are happy to put him in the car so he gets a shot so he wins jackson evans jackson evans every time he jumped in a in the sct car last year and this year he's just been impressive 2024 i think people are saying i read some things because people always say oh such and such isn't that good i don't expect jackson evans to be a lot better than jack smith but you don't know what the situation was. He was he was able to do a really good job at Sandown. He was one of the fastest guys in the field, especially qualifying down the back. They were able to put that car in a good position in the competitive. And they said that he drove the car up to 14th in the first stint at Bathurst. But if you're the last car to pit, is 14th really that impressive? I think in uh, 2022, he was good at Bathurst as well. He gets a shot. And so he wins that. And there were guys who who would have wanted the seat that didn't get it. Declan Fraser and Zach Best. And Jackson got the chance. Sometimes being the co-driver gives you that opportunity. He's gotten a chance, so he wins. 